Now at six, a big announcement today from the Vatican. Pope Francis announced priests could start giving blessings to same-sex couples. It's not the same as allowing same-sex marriage in the church. Tintivy's Colin Dorsey has a look at what this announcement means and how one church has handled something similar in the past. The Vatican made it very clear in their announcement that this is not a marriage and cannot resemble the marriage rights of the church. And this announcement came as a surprise for the six different dioceses across the state. I can believe that there are many LGBTQ Catholics out there who are seeing this as a sign of hope. For Ohio-based Love Boldly Executive Director Ben Hulescamp, the goal is to bridge the gap and create spaces for LGBTQ people in Christian churches. He says Monday's announcement from the Vatican is a small step, but still one in the right direction for LGBTQ people wanting to get back into church. There's a lot of us who want to be involved in church, but we've been excluded from those churches. So this gives us an opportunity, perhaps not in the church that we grew up in, but to engage in some sort of church. The announcement from the Vatican is a lengthy one outlining what is and isn't okay with the church when it comes to same-sex couples. These blessings must avoid anything that could confuse it with a marriage, reiterating the church's stance on marriage is exclusive, stable, and indissoluble union between a man and a woman naturally open to the generation of children. Several Christian denominations have taken the step toward being more welcoming to LGBTQ people in recent years. The Episcopal Church started allowing full same-sex marriages in 2015. Really, it was a church that for the most part was ready. Reverend Jed Deering is the rector for Trinity Episcopal Church in Columbus. He says that decision caused some growing pains for the denomination. To be able to extend that to all who were coming into the church, that they could participate and enjoy the gift of God that comes through marriage just seemed to make sense for most people. Certainly there were some who certainly there were some who had their challenges who were left because of the decision. Earlier this fall, the Cleveland Diocese put down a directive which strongly limited LGBTQ expression within its parochial schools. I reached out to the different dioceses around the state today, and most didn't have a statement at the time besides just referring and going by the statement put down by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, which reiterates that this isn't a marriage, but later goes on to say that the church should be grateful that people are asking for a blessing and should see it as a sign that they need God's help. Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News.